Man try say he's better than me. Tell my man shuts up. Mention my name in your scene. I rude by shuts up. All right, what's the crack? It's Paul here in Dublin, here with this YouTube vlog. Down in Smithfield, Dublin, all right? Came down here on a hashtag search for Stormzy. The main reason I wanted to get down here to this cool barrio in Dublin 7 was to see the world famous mural of Grime King Stormzy. But as you can see, said mural of man has been taken down by the Dublin County Council, all right? Absolutely tragic. Fug the council with a G, all right? So YouTube can't censor me. Fug with a G, the council, for their, uh, what's the word? Draconian decision to remove this beautiful mural, which was enhancing the color and the style of the place, all right? It was like, it's like something from North Korea to take down such a beautiful mural. Granted, some graffiti can be an eyesore, you know, you don't want to see some of the crap graffiti you see at train stations, but this was a proper, real piece of artwork. I love Stormzy, alright, the man is the king of grime, he's, you know, he's absolutely killing it in the rap and grime world. And this was a homage to him and a homage to, I suppose, Dublin's uh, love for urban hip-hop as well. I don't know who actually did it, um, and unfortunately we, we can't see it now. If you come back here, you can actually still see the trace of Stormzy's red tracksuit and his his black skinned face. Okay, you can just about make it out from afar. Um, if you come over here for a second, you can see a flyer up by the county council showing their disgust at the decision to take down the mural. By covering an internationally acclaimed piece of street art with Matt Gray, Dublin City Council succinctly expresses the attitude of official Ireland towards colour and playfulness in our capital city. Cost incalculable, intangible, all right? You can't put a price on beautiful street art. The thing, just, just imagine it, go on Dublin's Instagram, and go, go on to Smithfield, hashtag Smithfield, hashtag Stormzy, and you'll see how beautiful that, that uh, mural was. Anyway, it's no longer here. We'll have to get on with it. Hopefully, if protests continue, it might come back. Let's get on with this Smithfield vlog. Hashtag subscribe. Hashtag one take. All right. So, uh, yeah, Smithfield is a really cool barrio, cool neighborhood. In Dublin 7, in between Stony Batter. I love that name, Stony Batter. It's such an old school Dublin name. Stony Batter and um, the Four Courts. All right. Cool part of town. Uh, very historic and authentic part of Dublin which has been regenerated so at the turn of the century you know early 2000s there was a regeneration project to sort of gentrify and uh, and reinvigorate the place the new apartment blocks coffee shops and cinemas and whatnot and uh, new amenities for the for the residents which means that now it's become this sort of a mix of old school Dublin fused with with new Dublin all right, you still hear the old, the real old school, you know, many generations, inner city Dublin accents, mixing in now with all colour and creed, and more, shall we say, middle, uh, white collar workers, you know, coming to work in all these big office blocks. It's sort of like a mini second IFSC. All right, uh, so just coming in here to all these sort of like new yuppie coffee shops and restaurants. See over there, we see Oscar's, Oscar's coffee shop. I went in there just now, it's a nice little spot, 180 only for a, an espresso, on point, Piaccio, Piaccio Molto. All right, so what more about Smithfield? Well, as you can see here, this big square, this is the, it's now been renamed the plaza to sort of make it sound a bit more posh, but it's really the old school Smithfield Square, where a horse fair has been held for hundreds of years. All right, the Smithfield Horse Fair, every, it used to be every Sunday, then it became the first Sunday of every month. It's now only held twice a year due to, you know, protests and uh, animal rights groups protesting about the treatment of the, the horses, but twice a year still, I think it's in March and July, you can come down here and, uh, and see, see the piebald horses all being traded and the great bit of revelry and crack going on. All right, so uh, 
that will be a good bit of fun to see. As you can see over here, the old school Dublin cottages. Nice big tower up here as well. So just working on the zoom and camera skills. Straight up ahead we see a beautiful mural as well. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna finish the vlog. The part the street where I finish on will be whoa, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. It's on stirrup lane, alright? It's a boy, a hooded boy riding a horse, which is a symbol of Smithfield's connection with equine culture, I suppose you could say, right? There's as I've said, with the horse fair here, and you still do see the odd horse going through the streets on a, on a cart, you know, young lads riding them. Um, anyone who knows a bit about Irish cinema, one of the most famous movies in Irish cinema history is Into the West, about the two young itinerant boys who have the love for their, their lovely white horse. And uh, yeah, this is a white horse on this mural up here. So, yeah, Smithfield is a cool, cool little barrio. Cool pubs and old school pubs. I even saw a pub barber shop up the road as well. Nice, nice, very nice vibe around the place. Um, so, like I said, the main reason I wanted to see the Stormzy mural, which really lit the place up. But nonetheless, this is a quality, cool little burrow that I wanted to feel out while I'm back here in Dublin. Check it out up ahead. Bri bri, little Italy, fine Italian food. I don't know. I don't know if I'm eating the Italian Italian food here. You know, but hey, you never know. You never know. There's a Polonia pharmacy put the way. Just, which also shows just how much of a melting pot Dublin has become in recent years. You know, there's Brazil shops, there's Slovakia shops, all uh, all of our communities are now catered for with shops by the relevant people that set up their own stores and there's even like Polish newspaper sold in Dublin, I think. Um, yeah, so it's actually a nice fresh January morning here, you know, beautiful blue skies. Just imagine how cool Smithfield would be in summer to come hang out. Just oh yeah, on the square, of course. Yeah, like I didn't say enough about the square. There's also the there used to be a Christmas ice rink held there for kids. And over Christmas, you can see there was the big tree. They also had a Coca-Cola truck, so there's plenty of cool ambiance around the place. I'd say it's well cool in summer to come and hang out and have a beer on the the old square. All right, so yeah. Uh, even the names of the streets reflect the the history of horses and equine culture. You know the, the mural I'm going to take you up to here is on Stirrup Lane. Giup, giup. Stirrup Lane, all right. So uh, we'll get a look now. See this quality mural. Big up to all these people doing cool graffiti. I'm not a graffiti artist myself or anything, but I've always been a fan of graffiti and what and the colour and life it can give to a place. So hopefully on these vlogs we'll be able to show you more of Dublin's cool graffiti. There's plenty of it around these days. Alright. So I think that might have been double player feeling like that going into the into the cost cut today. So uh, I'm gonna have to wait to cross the road now but as you can see right up there is that beautiful mural on the side of a gaff just chilling on the side of a gap of Stirrup Lane. Beautiful. Very well done, I must say. So hopefully we'll start to see. Uh, hopefully we'll start to see more of these types of murals and graffiti adorning the streets of Dublin. Okay. Jay Watt. Can I get across? See you right up there. Quality, beautiful. A stirrup lane, boy on the horse. All right, just get myself in the background to finish off. Hope you enjoy this vlog from myself, Paul here in Smithfield, Dublin, Dublin Seven. Cool barrio. Come down and check it out. Check out the graffiti around the place. Support the local uh, commerce and stuff like that. All right. Muchas gracias. Cheers. Slonga fall. Got a meal Sheila. Subscribe. Thank you. Cheers.